Believe it or not, this is a camera. <laughs> yeah, it'd be more believable, I think, if Coke still made cans with this printing on it, so it's a little outdated. But this right here is a 35 millimeter camera. It's kind of like a reloadable disposable camera in a sense. I've had this in my possession for a few years. I even started shooting this video a couple of years ago. So we're gonna send it to me in the field with a little bit extra chin hair. <laughs> Let's roll the intro first. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Got my... I'm using Kodak Ultra Max. It was on clearance. I got it. Ooh, on my birthday, February 7th. I got it for six bucks. Fred Meyer. It's funny, every time I go places with like Jordan or Phil or other friends, they're busting out their phones or cameras and taking pictures. And I'm like, hang on, guys. I love my film. I shoot my Polaroid. It's okay, Grandpa. <laughs> it's okay, Grandpa. I'm gonna take a picture of cameraman Jordan and see if it works. Filmception. It didn't fire the flash. Oh, it wasn't fully charged. Oops. All right, well, give me a wave, Jordan. Hello. Like, put your hand like wave. Hi. Hi. All right, it flash went off that time. All right, cool. Well, let's get out and shoot some real photos. Coke can. Coke van. I need to take a photo. The driver of a Coca-Cola truck is coming out. He's just like standing there watching you. He looks so proud that you're taking a picture of it too. What guy? Oh, there is a guy. I told you. I thought you were making that up. I yeah, wave to him now. <laughs> <laughs> we found another Coca-Cola truck. <laughs> it's only fitting, I guess, right? Okay, hang on. Oh, I blindly took that photo, so we'll see if that even comes out. And there was a guy in it staring at us, just like the other one. So for any long time viewers of the channel, you might recognize this camera because I did a mail time video on this when I got it. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Well, I finally got around to developing the photos and I gotta say, the results surprised me. I bought it brand new. I think I, gosh, I don't know, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think I got a deal on it for about 50 bucks, I think, ish. They run for a, close to 100 sealed nowadays, but you can find them in various prices all over the interwebs. But it originally came packed with some film and I actually still have it. It's very much expired and I might just shoot it. If you guys wanna see that, consider subscribing because I, I do wanna start implementing a little bit more 35 millimeter and other film type content here on the channel, not just instant photography, which this channel kind of turned into. Not that I'm complaining, I very much love instant photography. This camera came out in 1998. I was eight years old, for those keeping track at home. But the way it functions is actually pretty fun and clever. You pop it open, kind of have to guess a little bit on your framing. And the shutter button is pretty close to the lens, so you really have to be careful when you shoot this thing otherwise your finger is gonna get in frame. More on that in just a second. To load the film in, there's a little button on the bottom. And on my particular one, you kinda have to press it in pretty far to the point where you almost kinda feel like you're breaking it. But then it opens up and then it's loaded in your 35 millimeter film. And the way to advance the film after each shot and to just, you know, wind it, it's the top of the, the can itself. You just grab it and you twist it. And then once you're done, uh, shooting the photos to rewind the film, you pop the tab and then you rewind it the other way. And there's a spot for a battery that goes inside because it does have flash. You can turn on or off. I don't develop my own film. Maybe one day I'll get into that. Uh, but I sent my film off to be developed by The Dark Room. They're not a sponsor of the video whatsoever. I just really like their service, I like what they do. They're pretty quick about getting the film turned around and back in your hands. But going back to the camera, the results surprised the heck out of me. This camera produces quite the aesthetic. Very vibrant, very saturated. That really comes mostly down to the film, I am aware. But still, it's pretty sharp and cool looking photos that come out of this thing. So one of the things that really is interesting to me is there's a couple of photos I've taken with this that have what looks to be my finger in the frame. 
However, you can see from this video, I am taking a photo of my cameraman, AKA Jordan, and you can see that my finger is not blocking the lens, but in the photo, it looks like it is. Must have a wider view than I was thinking. So if you get one of these types of cameras, you gotta keep that in mind. It's natural to put your hand right here and take your picture. So your middle finger tends to stick in frame. So when you use this, you really kind of have to make sure that your fingers are kind of in a position like this. Don't have your finger anywhere near the sides or close to the lens. I guess I can pick it up. But I love bringing this places and pulling it out on like client jobs and things and people looking at it being like, what is that? And I pulled out snaps of photos. It's a really good conversation starter. Now, this is the Coca-Cola version. There are a ton of other versions available as a soda can or even a beer can. <laughs> Uh, there's a Budweiser can that you can get. A variety of different ones to collect, honestly. And there's been one. I would love to get five more and make it a little six pack. I think that'd just be so ridiculous and fun. There are a couple other smaller versions of this that shoot, I think, the 110 film. So be careful on, on buying those thinking that it's this. So just pay attention to the listing. They do look differently, but they might be labeled as soda can camera so just pay attention to the pictures before you get one of these so who's this camera even for the enthusiast the, just to have something unique and different that's really who it's for is this a an amazing high quality film type camera absolutely not this is like i said in the beginning kind of a reloadable point and shoot camera that's all it really is and i gotta say though it's really fun unique it's different i keep saying the word unique but it does provide its own unique look I have a blast with this. This thing is so much fun. And these are the first photos I've even gotten back from it. So I, it just took me a long time to finally get around to sending them off two years worth before I got to this. But if you guys want to see more content around this type of thing, let me know in the comments below. I know I normally focus on instant photography and other retro type stuff, but uh, maybe I could start implementing some more 35. We'll see, because instant photography is already expensive enough. Adding in 35 and other film types Whew, it's gonna drive up the monthly bill higher than it already is to make videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out there, make some art.